Now, Unravel is one of those songs where you can't really cover it because nobody could outdo TK. But the whole crowd screamed when they heard those notes. <laughs> Ready? Shit. Where was this live? I gotta catch this live! Magical. They got her in a birdcage? I can't imagine when she hits those fucking notes, man. Already it sounds majestic as fuck. It's in India, my hometown? Oh, here we fucking go. She's even dancing! Yo, TK has to be proud of this shit, man. She's killing this shit right now. You ready? Oh, 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 shit! She's adding her own feeling, her own vibe to it, man! Right here! Oh, oh that sound is so fucking good! Come on! She's putting all her voices into one right now! She's not copying completely exactly. That's what makes this amazing. It's like not even a cover at this point. A cover would be more like you're just covering it. Like you're just singing the exact notes, the exact same style as the person. I feel like a remix. Like it's you're remaking it. It's a remake. It's a remake. It's a it's a reboot. She rebooted Unravel. Oh, oh, I'm not. I can't even imagine this scream. Come on. She does scream O2! What the fuck? What the fuck? No, man! Nah! It's fucking over. It's over. Now she could do scream -o. And oh my god! We need more of that! I think she's one of the most versatile artists I've ever heard. Like, if you're doing a remake to Unravel, this is how you do it. Unbelievable, man. Shit. I'm gonna catch her. When she comes to, to America, I'm gonna catch a show. I have to. And this guy's making that guitar bleed, man. Woo! One of the best of our age? Yeah, man, definitely. Top 10 of our age, without a doubt. One of my favorite artists in Japan, maybe like my top three in Japan. How does she go from the scratch and the scream to just casually transitioning to the normal chorus, man? Listen to that. Listen to that. The transition. Oh. And it's live! This Wait, sh shut up! Did she ever record this? Or is this like at the first time? Her voice pulls you in? Yeah, exactly. She definitely ate the devil fruit, man. She ate the fucking talent fruit. Oh my god. God damn. First time? Yeah, this is the first time, and that's, in that's incredible. So this is a pre-recorded... No back vocals? Raw! This is raw! She laying the smack down on us! <laughs> you know how we do all hell Oda, bro? All hell at oh, man. All hell at oh. Oh my god, man. Holy. <laughs> no one is beating this. 
I never thought I would like another version of Unravel more than the original, but goddamn, this comes close. This is wild, exactly. This is heaven on earth. You want the pinnacle of song? Of music, bro? You go to her. I bet she opened the fucking show like that. Then she did a whole new set. Unfucking believable. And this crowd's respectful enough to just sit in silence and just just take in and it's all of its glory. They're not like uh, 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 throwing their fucking bra at her. Nah, bro, they're appreciating that shit. Oh my god, no one's throwing stuff. Yeah, this ain't America. When she comes to America, I'm worried. I feel bad, man. I'm embarrassed. What are people gonna do? Imagine she performs this. Nah, man, I'd be screaming. Did, did this sound she did out of her mouth? That would be me in the crowd, man, screaming her name. I never thought I, 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 I'd I see a cover, a remake, or anything that isn't TK for just obliterated. She Exodia obliterated this fucking song, man. Seriously. Brought new life to it. God damn, and I thought I was over playing Unravel. Now I'm right back to playing that shit again, man. I want this shit recorded. Record this. Record this at all. Oh my god. God damn, man. Oh, that's going on YouTube. <laughs> Ah, here we go! I can't believe how well this song plays with her style. And you could say, Nick, she doesn't have a style. She has a style. Her style is having no style. Her style is, is, is a million different things. She created her own style of having no style. But this fits. This, this, this feeling of the song really fits her. And here I am again, listening to Unravel. Ready? Shit. Shit. Woo! Man, I heard the live performance version, but you can't hear it that well. I mean, you can hear it that well, but you can't hear everything. You can't hear every note. Plus, it was live. But here it's perfected, and you can hear everything. And it's like they don't just take the fucking unravel instrumental, they recreate that shit too. It's her own band. I'm guessing it's her own band. But I, I, I'm 100% sure, maybe 99, I don't want to say 100, but I'm 99% sure this is her band creating this or remaking this instrumental to fit her vocals, man. I gotta go to her show. When she comes to America, I'm going, and y'all are coming with me. I don't know what I meant by that, but... Nicholas, um, St. Nicholas Light, because I'm buying tickets. Oh, we get to hear the scream! Come on! Dude, the fucking build-up is intense! Dude, 
I'm telling you right now. She did that in one take. There's no way you insert those vocals. She was like, a dog and I, a dog and I, a dog. That shit climbed up the fucking ladder with intensity. A dog and I, a dog and I, a dog and I, a dog and I, like. A dog and I, 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 a dog and I. I've never heard anyone do that fucking TK screech so good before. You know, I just realized they say unraveling the world. I thought TK just like went. Rah, rah, rah. I never knew he was actually saying words there. This is the first time I saw the lyrics. <laughs> Dude, I never realized how beautiful her avatar is. Tell me not, man. Shit. It is on Spotify, it is. I added it to my songs without even listening to it. What a beautiful vision as well. That is so fucking hard to do with the pitch change right there, but live it sounds even better because she adds that screamo to it. She's like, you know what I mean? Like she does that, but she's not doing it in the live version. Yeah, this, this this was fucking like beautiful. The drums just illuminate my eardrums. Holy shit! It's like a flower just spawned in in the middle of my 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 skull at the beginning of the song. Just bloomed by the end of it, and and the the, the 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 vines are coming out of my ears, man. I became a fucking flower from this song. I don't even know what I just said, but that's that's my imagination right there. Holy shit, man! I don't know how she did it, but the live performance is even better than this. If you didn't see the live performance, bro, my reactions on my second channel, Nicholas Dark. But damn, she killed that fucking performance. But this is amazing. Thank God it's on Spotify. <laughs> And whoever did the visuals did just as amazing as of, of a job. I don't know how people don't like this. I mean, you're allowed to have taste. But I'm sorry, but your taste sucks. Thank you.